What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about bionanogenomics, ticker symbol BNGO. They have two very important catalysts coming up in the next week, and I think that this could send the stock absolutely to the moon, and it will go crazy next week. I'm thinking about a 20 to 25% increase throughout the week. So if you guys want to see all of those catalysts that are coming up in the near future and how to position yourself the best way possible to make the most money in bio nanogenomics, make sure you stick to the end of this video. But before we get into all of that information, if you guys enjoy this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and comment down below your thoughts on how many shares of bio nanogenomics you have and what price you got in. So without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. So bio nanogenomics has been going absolutely crazy over the past couple of weeks. It started in early December at the 55 cent mark and went all the way up to about the $7 mark and then came back down and then went absolutely crazy again to the $9 range. Now they've had a lot of public offerings recently which have sent the stock price down uh, in the short term. As we can see with this one right here, Bio Nano Genomics was trading at about $5 when they announced a pretty substantial public offering at the $3 price point. And Bio Nano Genomics fell all the way down to the low $4 range before going back up and going all the way up to the moon again. They recently announced another public offering. If we can go over here and take a look at what this offering is, it's about $200 million underwritten public offering of common stock. And that is gonna be priced at about $6 per share. And it is going to be closing tomorrow, Friday, January 22nd. At the time I'm uh, recording this video, it is Thursday night. And we've seen that when Bio Nano Genomics announced that they were going to be doing another share offering, the share price fell from the mid to low $9 range all the way down to the low eights. Now, the share offering was at $6, but we didn't see BioNanogenomics go anywhere close to the $6 range. And we saw today that BioNanogenomics went up about 2.73%. And after hours, it is up an additional 1.57%. Now, that's very important because the company, BioNanogenomics, is selling 33 million shares on the open market. So there's a lot of selling pressure in BioNanogenomics right now. And the stock isn't really reacting. It had an initial reaction falling pretty hard, but then really rallied up today, even with the heavy selling pressure that the company is putting on the stock. Once this uh, selling pressure is over tomorrow, Friday, I think we could see next week be absolutely crazy for bio nanogenomics because they're not going to have this massive 33 million shares being sold on the open market for such a low price. So that's the first event that I think is going to send bio nanogenomics stock a lot higher in the next week. So if you have the chance and you have some free cash laying around, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you already like this company to kind of average down your position if you bought around the highs before it had a pretty massive sell-off after this share offering was announced. Now the second a piece of news, the second catalyst that I think is going to be very important for bio nanogenomics coming up next week is going to be the Festival of Bio of Genomics and Biodata taking place from January 26th to January 29th. Now, basically, if we scroll down, they're going to have a virtual event throughout those days. But if we come down a little bit further, we can see that some of the agenda partners, Bio Nano Genomics is one of these partners. So this is going to be an opportunity for Bio Nano Genomics to showcase its product, uh, the Sapphire, and how effective it is and kind of compare themselves to the other players in the market. Now, I think that this event could attract a lot of different investors in the genomics and biotech market to bio nanogenomics. Now, it's still a pretty new company in terms of being not a penny stock anymore. It was recently trading at around the 55 cent mark and then absolutely ripped up when it had its uh, autism study released, which was very uh, positive. Now, we also saw if we come down to January 11th, which is right here, the stock was trading at $5.29, about in the low $5 range. Now, what's important about January 11th was that this was the first day of Bio Nano Genomics Cytogenomics Symposium, and this was a five day event where they showcased all of the different great things that their Sapphire had to offer uh, their clients. So essentially, they were able to map 
uh, a pandemic patient, and they were able to find some structural variants in order to kind of help the health outcomes of people who have severe symptoms of this disease. Now, that's very important. They also came out with some other studies, but we can see that this was another five-day long event, and at the beginning of this event, BioNanogenomics was trading at the $5 mark, and at the end, five days later, on the 16th, BioNanogenomics topped out at its high at about $8.52. That is over a 50% increase in share price, which is absolutely insane. And BioNanogenomics has another event coming up next week that is very similar to their symposium that they recently had. Now, BioNanogenomics is not going to be the sole focus of this event, which is why I think that we can expect maybe a 20% increase in share price throughout next week, 20 to 25%. When you combine uh, this event with less selling pressure due to the massive capital raise that BioNanogenomics just did, they're in a really good position for next week to have a really great week. Now, BioNanogenomics has also said that their revenue is expected to increase by about 50% this quarter, which would be very good news when they release their earnings in the beginning of March. Now, the next catalyst isn't really a, a, a catalyst that has a specified date, but it could have a very strong effect on BioNanogenomics share price over a period of time about a month long. If we come over here, we can take a look at BioNanogenomics on MarketBeat, and we can see that the current short volume, which is the uh, volume of shares that have been sold short of BioNanogenomics, is about 8.48 million shares, or about $48 million worth sold short. If BioNanogenomics keeps going on this uptrend, we could see a very large uh, short squeeze. Now, the short volume volume on bio-nanogenomics is not overly insane. So if this squeeze were to happen, it wouldn't be one of the craziest things that we would see. The shorts would just have to cover their position uh, because they have to buy back their stock that they sold for a higher price than what they sold it for, which could send the stock going up. But when you look at the actual short volume, it's only about 8.48 million shares. Now, this is a little bit outdated. This was updated on December 31st. So we could have seen some shorts already uh, cover their position, or we could have seen some individuals initiate uh, new short positions due to bio-nanogenomics running up so much, which I think is the more likely scenario. Now, I'm going to give bio-nanogenomics a price target of about $11 by the end of next week. Now, I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, if you guys think you have another price target uh, and you want to let me know, please comment down below your thoughts. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed what I had for you in this one, please like this video. Please hit that subscribe button and comment down below your thoughts on what you think Bio Nano Genomics will get to next week and maybe what kind of news you think will be released in the future. So that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I hope you guys had a really profitable trading day today and I'll see you guys in the next video.